Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick look at what's going on with the forecast as we head into the rest of the weekend. And as of right now, things are decently quiet as we go throughout the next couple of days. Not really much is going to be changing anytime soon. We've got plenty of possibilities of heat and humidity out there. We're also looking again at the potential, not issued just yet, but the potential of maybe some areas of some heat advisories coming back from the National Weather Service. They're mulling that over right now. They have not made a decision just yet, but it is possible that we could be seeing heat index temperatures over the next couple of days around or over 105 degrees, and that's pretty dangerous when you're working or exercising outdoors. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be heading out the door anytime soon over the next few days. Sunblock, maybe the umbrella for a sunshade at some point in time. And, of course, don't forget that extra thermos of ice water. That will help you stay hydrated. And please make certain to keep an eye on everybody else working or exercising around you just in case. Got any reports from around the area tonight? Please let us know what it's like around your location. Check the weather forecast uh, information at wreg.com slash weather. And let us know what the weather's like at your spot around the Mid-South area. Give us uh, your city state and also again temperature wind speed if you got it cloud conditions out there anything like that let's do some amateur meteorology tonight and talk a little bit more about what it looks like across the mid-south plus if you've got weather pictures again stick around for more because we'll have a whole bunch of that coming up here in just a little bit more of your weather pictures from around the mid-south over the last couple of days facebook finally beginning to give us some of those pictures out there they've been stacked up for a while but we're finally getting some of those up and ready to go so definitely some good news on that temperatures over the next few hours they will be dropping slowly but unfortunately at this point in time we will be looking at temperatures by early tomorrow morning around daybreak only back into the mid to upper 70s in much of the mid south so not looking at too much of anything in the way of cooler weather across much of the area so not much better than that out there looking out west real quick again goat haunt around glacier national park why are we looking at this because if you've noticed the skies around the Mid-South are kind of that chalky blue. The haze and the smoke from those fires out west are moving into the Mid-South area, carried this direction by the jet stream winds, and those are going all the way over to Europe, as a matter of fact. So from Glacier National Park, a little hazy there. Also a little hazy from around the area of Yosemite, but again, at this time, things are looking much better as the Ferguson fire is mainly just starting to be contained, and it looks like a lot better out there for right now. Uh, David Harmon, what does a orange moon mean? It means it's being viewed through the thicker layers of the atmosphere, closer to the ground instead of farther up. So you're looking at it through a thicker layer of air, and that's why it's colored a little differently out there for right now. And moonrise tonight. Looks like it should be pretty beautiful out there for this evening. Again, if you have many more pictures, please tweet them along to us. Looks like we've lost the color scan at Ole Miss in Oxford from the track and field facility, getting the new paint markers on the track area for tonight and seeing again a beautiful evening in and around Oxford for this evening with a few clouds drifting on through. View from across the river, West Memphis, Arkansas, sunset a few minutes ago and a beautiful evening looking over the Mississippi River. You can see see several planets tonight if it's clear enough but that haze out there might be a little difficult to actually see stuff out there for right now uh, Richard Priestmeyer is this hope I'm saying that right is this haze bad for us it's not great and anybody with asthma or emphysema or lung ailments might be experiencing some more problems out there. Uh, Shelby County Health Department monitors are showing in elevated areas of pollution in the Mid-South area. Plus, the uh, United States Forest Service and the Health Department are also saying that carbon monoxide levels because of those fires they're not much, but they are increased. So again, that's something to think about out there. Dust very heavy around the area of 240 and Poplar for tonight as what was the uh, Poplar overpass going eastbound on Poplar was demolished overnight last night. Some of the roadbed surface, the new one is already in place and there's two more of them lined up and ready to go as the TDOT Memfix 4 project continues. This will be going on all the way through the weekend. And again, this whole area is shut down. Park Avenue is open as a detour. Shady Grove and Walnut Grove back to the north of this. And Quince Avenue and Mount Moriah also open. But if you're trying to go east-west across Poplar, Westbound Poplar is fixed, but it's shut down. 
eastbound poplar is no more. There's not much left of it there, and the new roadbeds are going in as we speak. We'll bring you this. Plus, if you'd like to see a time lapse of this, check out my Facebook page, and you'll be able to see more about what that looked like in the overnight hours out there for right now. So, Scott Jarvis, 80 degrees, feels like 86, 75% humidity, winds out of the east. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Wayne Wheeler, everyone become an organ donor. Not quite weather, but we'll accept that thread jack for tonight. My fifth grade teacher always said to write smorgasbord on the back of your driver's license, and that's what I've done. So don't need the uh, organs after I'm stuck on, after I'm gone, so everybody else can make use of them if at all possible. Avery Nellum from Ripley. Sorry you haven't been feeling good out there. Strep throat has been going around from what I understand right there. Smog or polluted heat fog, Jennifer and Nona Edgerton. Yeah, kind of. It's not all that great for us out there. When will we see more cooler weather? Michael Kennedy, no time soon, unfortunately. It's going to be pretty hot out there for right now. Uh, Gwendolyn Pugh, welcome to the show. Earl Arkansas, Melissa Baker, thank you very much for that one. Uh, Richard Priestmeyer, any idea when they will be done with the bridge? The bridge will be ready to go, that bridge, by Monday morning at rush hour. The entire Memphix 4 project has months to go, so we've got a lot more closures, but that's a good thing because that is going to help to make certain our infrastructure is safe. So yes, you're inconvenienced by a little bit, but yes, also you're getting brand new roadways to drive on, and that makes Makes things a lot safer. So please consider that when you're stuck in a detour in all the hot conditions out there for right now. Uh, Scott Jarvis, are we going to see Mars and the moon looking like two moons Monday night? No end of discussion. Not going to be happening. You can see Mars out there as a bright point of light. It will never be any more than a point of light to the Earth and not going to be happening. Uh, Patricia Ann Bass or Bass, anything on the hur hurricane in Hawaii? We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. It's currently clean sweeps around the area on Storm Tracker 3S radar. 70s and 80s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Want this information on your computer system? Go to this website, wreg.com, and click on the weather bug icon for more information on that. All right, running the numbers into overnight. News Channel 3 at 10. Temperatures right around the 70s to 80s. We're going to be on a little bit late tonight thanks to the NFL. They've got their preseason game going on for right now. And early tomorrow, morning, maybe some showers up around the boot heel, south southeastern Missouri, somewhere in there, but by daybreak tomorrow morning, going into tomorrow afternoon, lows only dropping into the lower to mid 70s tonight, back in the lower 90s again for tomorrow with this isolated chance of a shower up across portions of areas north of I-40, and that's going to be about it for right now. Savannah, Tennessee, 90 degrees, humidity at 73%, sounds glorious, but I'm Really mean that. Sasha Ann Madison, thanks a lot for the weather report from around that area, and appreciate everybody else for sticking around here for tonight. Melissa Taylor, when can we expect cooler weather in the hospital with pneumonia? Ouch. Okay, hope you got to feeling better right there. Could the weather have anything to do with that? That depends on how susceptible you are to, again, these increased smoke levels. Probably not enough for triggering pneumonia, but I'm not a medical expert, so again, definitely want to talk to your doctor or your nurse about that, but a lot of people where those wildfires are billowing into the sky are not having good times breathing out there, and we're seeing some pretty good amounts of pollution. Now, for Monday, not much good news as the National Weather Service is considering a heat advisory for the area. That's where the temperature and the humidity combined together to get that heat index might go over 105 degrees, and that's going to be very dangerous for working or exercising outdoors for long periods of time. They have not issued it yet. They're just considering it, but it could be a possibility for later on. Now, into the middle part of the week... This is as cool as it gets. Not much better news than this. Back in the mid to upper 80s around Thursday, as we see an increase to showers and thunderstorms, this forecast for Saturday and sun Friday and Saturday has changed a little bit. A couple of days ago, looked pretty good for Friday and for Friday night football. Now the models are stirring up some showers and thunderstorms, so we could see some lightning delays, maybe some storms out there for Friday night into Saturday morning, so we'll keep our eyes on that and keep you updated. The rest of the forecast really just does not have anything. Patricia Ann Bass, thank you very much uh, for that pronunciation with a name like Onik. You think I would know better, but thank you very much uh, for that one. Rest of the forecast, again, not much is going to be changing out. We go through Friday, get rid of August, head into September, and these are pretty typical numbers for this time of the year. But we have not hit the triple digits yet. 
Small comfort, I know, but at least that's something anyway. Either way, hot and steamy over the next few days. Not exactly heat wave territory, but these numbers very typical for this time of the year. So we're not seeing anything like what we saw last week with that cool down, upper 80s on Thursday. That's about as good as it gets, so not seeing too much improvement on that for right now. Good news out into the Pacific. We are not seeing any more major problems. Matter of fact, most of the watches and warnings have been discontinued. But again, because of this circulation, the storms in the northern hemisphere rotate counterclockwise. So this is still shoveling up a lot of rainfall. Parts of the big island, Maui, Kauai, in that area, all the way back over to Oahu, on the eastern side of the Hawaiian Islands, in total, when this whole thing is over with, they might pick up around 50. That's 5-0, Hawaii 5-0, little Hawaii joke there for you. But again, that's where we could see some very heavy rainfall. Tons of rainfall on Maui, not enough to, down, to uh, douse the wildfires that have been taking place around the area there. But the good news is Lane is a minimal tropical storm right now. Winds at 50 miles per hour. It is slowly starting to make its way out of the picture as high pressure back to the north of this drives the storm back toward the west. So it will be weakening. It will become a tropical depression. And eventually, it's just going to fizzle out as it makes its way out toward the northwestern Pacific and should not be a threat to anybody else at this time. At least that's the one it's hoped for leaving Hawaii very soggy and soaked over the next couple of days. So we may not see anything in the way of major amounts of more rainfall coming on through there. Renee Roberson saw an extended weather program. It said end of September going to go into the low 80s, 70s nights, really cooler into the 40s and 50s. Uh, that's possible, but that's a little bit farther ahead for us. And if you want to check out what we use for the forecast, you can see the Climate Prediction Center forecast information at uh, noaa.gov if you'd like to look up for more about that. But unfortunately, uh, we don't go that far ahead on the pictures at this point in time. Eddie Goss, formerly of News Channel 3 Production Department, welcome to the show. Hope you're enjoying retirement out there. And thanks for stopping on by, Mr. Goss. Miss you back here at the studios out there. And Hope you're doing all right for right now. Uh, let's see. Next week is going to be miserable for those of us who work outside. Tanya Ford, good possibility. Gwendolyn Pugh, 81 degrees, home of Charlie Pride in Sledge, Mississippi. Welcome, Charlie and Gwendolyn, to the show. Thank you very much for stopping on by for that one. Good news into the tropics. We were watching a disturbance over the coast of Africa. This thing hadn't even moved off the coast, and the National Hurricane Center was already tracking it. It appears to have fizzled. There's nothing else to track at this point in time. So between Africa, the Caribbean, and the East Coast, there is basically nothing going on at this point, and not we're going to be expecting anything for the next two to five days. Things look very quiet, should be remaining that way, so hopefully we're not seeing too much of any other major problems, but keep it tuned to the National Hurricane Center. Today is the one-year anniversary of the landfall of Harvey back around Houston, and we all know what that turned out to be as a ridiculously huge amount of rainfall. Hopefully that doesn't happen again anytime soon in that area because we don't need that happening anytime in that for, for cleanup purposes and also, again, for anybody else out there. Now, good news is with that rainfall we had last week, no burn bans in effect for the Mid-South area and good news for the rest of the area, those counties down in southwest Arkansas that were under burn bans no longer. So Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee, no burn bans and a low to moderate fire danger. So it's not even close to what we've seen out west. Lee Campbell picking up a beaver tail cloud as seen from Batesville, Mississippi. That's a storm system that almost had a rotation going on and that what's called an RFD, rear flanking downdraft, helped to kind of shape the cloud on the back side of things. And that's what it looks like. It is not a tornado. Very few of these things actually become tornadoes because it's basically a failed rotation, but a very good capture from Lee Campbell in Batesville, Mississippi. Rebecca Maddox, thank you very much for sending in a picture of fog in Bihalia, Mississippi from a couple of weeks ago. Again, Facebook just now starting to spit out some of these things for us to actually use. So thank you, Facebook and Mr. Zuckerberg for that. Molly McMillan Hawkins, two pictures, one of sunset and one of a lightning strike around Monday evening. Thank you very much uh, for the pictures on there for the afternoon and evening hours as those storms moved on through for the time being at this point. Uh, Patricia Ann Bass, yes, uh, Senator McCain did pass away this afternoon. 
Uh, CBS is on with a special report right now, and we'll have more about that coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 after the NFL, so stay tuned for more there. Anita Webb, thanks a lot for Sunset. Some cloudy skies from earlier this week. Beautiful view of the Bluff City out there. If you've got pictures, we'd love to see them, so please tweet them or email them or Facebook them to us if Facebook can be considered an actual verb to be used on that, but send them to us somehow, and we'll feature them on our netcasts here for Weather Overtime and also, again, on our newscast as well, so stick around for more on that. Can't get the forecast on the computer because you're away or out and about? Dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, I'll be on back with Bob and Josh, Sports Chat Extraordinaire, AM 730, Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Can't catch them because you're too far out of the signal range. Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. We'll have more tonight as soon as the NFL. NFL is concluded with their preseason game on CBS Sports tonight, so please be sure to join us for that. And, of course, I'll be on with Nina Harrelson coming up tomorrow morning, bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Anything you'd like to see on here, anything we missed, anything you want to see, please let us know. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com. Please email me. I'll send them along to Tim Simpson for his consideration, and the managers here will let me know whether or not we can feature that, and we'll go from there. But please talk to me. Let's see what you would like to see and help you bring you back to watching this on Saturday and Sunday nights. Coming up in about a half an hour, join me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinoticwreg, and we'll talk more about whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, we'll show you more about what it looks like at various locations around the globe. And, of course, we'll take a look at more of the forecast and more of your weather pictures as well, and that'll be coming up at about 8.45 on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope as well. Thanks to everybody for joining us tonight. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on the late edition following the NFL, and of course throughout the rest of the weekend, more news, weather, and sports on News Channel 3 on air, and join us online at WREG.com. Thanks for joining us tonight.